Okay guys, this is Jason and today what we're going to do is a short video of the uh, valve blocks here. Um, so all the OEM or one ton excavator from China, uh, I'm not sure other manufacturers, um, basically will have this kind of setup. A series of valves banked together and just uh, purport, uh, uh, these are basically directional valves. Uh, two way directional valves has an inlet and outlet. And the control is basically using uh, operating this actuator. So each valve has one actuator. In this case, the lever goes to the left, it pushes down, push to the right, it opens up, and it just allows the fluid to flow uh, um, re in reverse. And that will cause a turning motor or a hydraulic ram to move um, opposite direction, left or right. So that being said, these are very easy to reconfigure, meaning that Right now, the lever to the left cause the machine to rotate to the left, to the right cause it to the rotate to the right. You can switch the connections and it will do a reverse. So you can really confuse people up. Um, so for theft protection, if you are the only user and uh, you can really configure any way you want uh, because that's just pure uh, muscle memory. Once you get used to it, you kind of just get used to it. And for a thief to try to steal your machine without knowing the operating pattern, uh, it could be pretty dangerous. So for example, your track, left handle is for the left track. Now you can change it to the right track um, and also reverse. So that would really just confuse people, uh, whoever try to operate your machine. So that being said, this is just a simple valve. And the actuator, when it opens or close, it allows the fluid to move. So if you don't have any, for example, this machine has a check valve on the big digging arm and the small digging arm, front digging arm. So when the arm is raised, because it has a check valve, so when the actuator is moved, it doesn't cause the pressure loss, so it doesn't drop the arm. Whereas in my other video, the rhinos, uh, they don't have it. And just in general, a lot of these don't have it just because, you know, try to save costs and, uh, and, and so. All right, so in this case, you see right here, this valve here, the actuator is actually on the bottom, okay? And it's controlled by the foot pedal. So with these directional valves, um, manual directional valves, it's really tricky because you have to get that right movement in order for you to operate the excavator very smoothly. So a lot of YouTube videos you see when people are just first getting it, you know, they, 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 they move the handle and, and all of a sudden the, the, the machine jerks. And that's exactly the reason because they're not used to it yet. So in a little, um, so in a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate you can get very smooth operation out of it. So what's the pros and cons? The pros is really simple. If you ever need to do any work on it or simply just buying a, a small piece of valve and replace it, it's very simple to, to do. P basically no electronics. So um, you, you can't get any simpler than that. Okay. Uh, the cons is that because of its movement based, you have to move the lever all the way to get a good and fast action. So it, when you are working, you know, you, you just want to get a job done. So you, you're moving, you're digging, you know, constantly. And so your hand is moving these left and right, front and back. And imagine you just do that for the whole day, you know, six, seven hours a day. And imagine just doing more than three days a week, constantly. So your arm is gonna get sore, okay? Um, but if you're a homeowner, you're only doing it for a couple of days, you know, maybe like a month, you only work on it, you know, two weekends and, you know, six hours a day. Then yeah, you're gonna get sore, but next day you'll be fine. But for guys who doing digging the whole time, you know, you, you just gotta face it. Your, your arm's gonna be sore all the time. Uh, whereas in different other um, excavators, uh, the control is very gentle. So all you need to do is just move a rest and you can you know, do your digging all day long without any problem. So you're not gonna be sore, okay? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna just do a highlight of these valves right here. So it's fixed at a point right here. And so that basically is a stationary point, allow you to have pivot points to move these actuators, okay? Uh, you, I, I don't think you can get any simpler than that. And same thing for the right-hand side. So let's say in a real-world digging situation, you are doing three action at a time. You are pulling the big digging arm, you are 
retracting the small or front digging arm and you are also scooping up so what would you do is you will be pulling push back it's pulling the big arm and you will scoop to the right and you will pull or retract the front digging arm so you are really just doing this and then you know rotate to dump and come back repeat so the so here's the foot pedal and this side controls the uh, hydraulic thumb again press down if you just step on it it opens the port all the way you know the the hydraulic thumb will just suddenly open or close and back okay so if you want to have the thumb close slowly then of course you have to press very gently and it's not easy to do unless again you practice a lot okay and later we're gonna try that we're gonna try to grab some stuff um, and just very gently place it down somewhere okay so we're gonna do that and uh, hopefully that will kind of help you um, you know get to know these machine better help you decide what you want um, so yeah let's do some demonstration where I'm gonna show you um, you can get a smooth action out of it but it just takes time and practice okay let's go check it out what I got here is a garbage can a large garbage can is standard um, and some flower pots, empty flower pots. What I'm gonna use, what I'm gonna try to do is to use the hydraulic thumb to pick it up and to drop it in. And this portion will be done in the real time and so you can just see how uh, you could also do it uh, with enough practice. Okay, let's uh, give a shot. First few times I'm gonna press hard and you'll see the boom uh, just swings over really hard um, and jerks a lot okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that a few times and then I'm gonna do a very smooth operation to show you Thank you. 
that's it for today's video. Please leave me your comments and uh, hit subscribe and like, and I will see you next time.